revealed what's happening in Scotland. Super volcanoes, not just volcanoes in the Highlands. Scotland has a secret super volcano hidden under the mountains. It's a monster super volcano lurking under the mountains of the Scottish Highlands. This is what Joshua Nevitt of Daily Star reports. Well, we know that they have a number of highlands and lochs, which are the lakes. One of them is Glen Coe in the north of the country, and it's the site of an ancient supervolcano, they say. It lies beneath the serene, beautiful, rugged landscape of just north of Argyll, on the border with Loch Haber. But it's, uh, you don't have to spread about it, it's not active. It's a dormant volcano, and it last erupted 420 million years ago, and is thankfully long extinct. Now, hundreds of keen hikers flocked to this area, whose sprawling plains were once ripped apart by boiling hot magma. This is where they currently have no active volcanoes in Britain, as most died out hundreds of millions of years ago. Others dead, other dead supervolcanoes can be found in Snowdonia and the Lake District. And smaller volcanoes can also be found under Edinburgh Castle and in the Scotland island of Mull, which is uh, east of Scotland just before you enter the sea towards Ireland. The Isles of Mull sky and room. According to British Geological Survey, the UK is in a tectonically quiet part of the world. The information on the website reads, quote, most volcanoes occur near the edges of the Earth's tectonic plates, but Britain is now a long way from geologically active areas. The most volcanic volcanology Volcanically active areas in the world is around the edge of the Pacific Plate, from Indonesia to Japan, Alaska, the USA, Central America, and South America. He forgot to say, uh, of course, also Greece. That's where the, uh, and the Anatolia Fort of Salt, Turkey, where the African Plate is smashing into the European Plate. But Britain is neither on the edge of a plate nor near a hotspot. The nearest plate boundary to the British Isles runs down the center of the Atlantic and Iceland with its many volcanoes is on top of the boundary. And the biggest natural disaster threat to Britain is from earthquake activity in Iceland which could cause the country's biggest volcano to erupt. Geologists say that massive volcanoes across the world could be ready to blow their top and uh, besides the fact that, okay, he says that there are no active volcanoes, the thing is that you do have many hot springs, you have geothermal activity going on all the time, continually, all these thousands of years, in Britain especially. One of the areas is Bath, that has the hot springs, that's why it's called Bath. And uh, since antiquity they had baths there. Even the Romans had baths there. They built various beautiful buildings with uh, their hot spring, for their hot spring baths. And also Leamington Spa, which is about a two-hour train ride north of London. The Londoners would go there for their summer vacation. And it looks like a little London. It's very, very quaint in the country. So I'll leave a link below for you for this on Daily Star. I just found this today. I didn't know about the fact that um, Scotland had a super volcano. That's amazing. It's amazing and fascinating. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events. 
events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.